So today in Washington DC, there's a rally being put together as I record this called the March for Our Lives. We have anti-Second Amendment groups who are calling for a minimum of a half a million Americans to show up in DC, stand in line and protest like good little sheep to give up one of our most basic fundamental rights as promised to us, guaranteed in the Constitution, which is the Second Amendment. The right of the people to keep and bear arms that shall not be infringed or regulated. See, the, the word infringed itself means regulated. They, they, the government does not have the right to tell you or me or anyone what kind of gun we can own, what kind of weapons we can choose to, to buy or possess to defend our own lives. Because the defense of our lives is just the most primal basic instinct of any living creature, man or beast. So today, my mini protest of their protest starts at home. And I'm asking you to do the same. So as I get ready to go out on my daily routine this morning, I'm just going to take my dogs for a walk. This is how I prepare. I have a gun belt. I'm doing this as instruction basis only. It's a gun belt and if you carry a gun and don't have a belt that can do this, you're doing yourself a big injustice. This makes carrying your gun a thousand times easier. I can hold my belt like this and it does not collapse. It's designed to hold the weight of the weapon itself and disperses it around your waist in a, in a manner that supports it in a safe, secure way. I have an inside the waistband holster. This has been around for almost 10 years and it's still in fairly good shape. It's made by a company called Crossbreed. They're a Christian based company. They have some crosses on the belt loops and an embossed logo. They are big supporters of your right to keep and bear arms and they're also outspoken Christians. That's why I, I chose to go with them, but it turned out to be a fantastic product. It's getting a little bit old and beat up right now, but as long as it still does what I need it to do, I'm going to keep on wearing it. So I'm just going to put it on the inside of my waistband at roughly 4.30, 4 o'clock, where it's fairly accessible. My next piece would be this. This is my Gen 3 Glock 19, 9mm, completely empty. Safety checked, empty. But that's not how I carry it. That's not how I carry it. I carry hollow points in it, and you could go online or most any retail store that sells guns and ammunition and get a good quality hollow point. We carry hollow points for safety, not just for destruction. If you're shooting ball ammo in your home or even out on the street at a at a someone who wants to hurt or kill you, you're risking over penetration and a pass-through that could potentially go into an innocent civilian or, or bystander. So we carry hollow points to defend those around us and ourselves from hurting someone else. So we carry completely loaded in a manner that's ready to use the gun anytime I need it. I carry a pocket knife. This is just a SOG. More of a utility than anything else. It's got a little carbide tip to break car windows on it. It's got a seat belt cutter on it, and I've cut more cardboard and tape boxes at work with this thing than I've done anything else. It's been around for a few years, just getting beat up, but it still works, so I keep continue to carry it because it's in my pocket. I also carry this. This is a recent birthday or Christmas present. This is a self-defense blade from K-Bar TDI, and it's in an NSR tactical sheath. It clips on front of my belt right here I got a wallet tactical little Kydex wallet that carries every card that I need it including my license credit card debit cards and it's got a clip in the back for a, for a few bills but I hardly ever carry cash but I, I know I should but I shouldn't but this is my wallet it goes in my right pocket and a spare mag because why not uh, I don't carry spare ammunition because I think I'm going to be in a gunfight like at the OK Corral. If you carry a semi-automatic pistol like this, the number one malfunction 
is a feed failure to feed or failure to eject issue. So the, the quickest way to fix the failure to feed, failure to eject, is to drop the magazine in the gun and put a fresh one in. So I carry that just for maintenance issues, not because I think I'm going to need 31 rounds. But if you talk to anybody, cop, law enforcement, military, etc., who's ever been in a, a gunfight in the real world, not, not, none of those people will ever tell you that there'll be satisfied with fewer bullets. So having more bullets is always a good thing, but it's more or less for a maintenance for the weapon that I, that I choose to carry in case, God forbid, I'd ever need it. And it goes into a Gideon pocket holster, again, from Crossbreed, and it goes in my left pocket because you don't want to have your spare magazine or backup weapon on your strong side because your strong side is where you carry your gun. So you want to have your gun accessible and if you need your gun it's going to be in your strong hand and your anything else should be accessible by your support hand so as i prepare for my basic day to walk my dogs and work around the house and drive around the small town america that i live in this is how i prepare this is how i go face the world because the people who went to the movie theater in aurora colorado a few years back weren't expecting a madman to break in and shoot them up the people in the Mall of America a year and a half ago weren't expecting to have some radicalized ISIS member come stab the hell out of them. Um, it happens on a regular basis to those who are completely unexpected and unprepared. I don't want to be a victim. I choose to go into a world where people hate me and be prepared to be the guy that shoots back. If you're coming after me, you better bring yours. And this is quote unquote why I carry.